What's up travellers? Welcome to Natalie Dewey's Hong Kong Information Travel Vlog. The vlog that tells you everything you need to know about the Hong Kong scene. This video is devoted to exploring the wealthiest and busiest part of Hong Kong, Central. So get ready for some sophistication in one of the world's most important business centres. We are going to start at Landmark and to get there by MTR, you get off at Central and take Exit G. The Landmark boosts a variety of the world's most luxurious and well-known brands of jewellery, clothing and bags. It also houses a number of high-quality restaurants and cafes. The Christmas decorations tend to be the best of anywhere in Hong Kong. fact, while it's called the Queen's Road in English, the Chinese translation does not mean Queen. It means the King's Wife, in other words, the Queen Consort. It's unclear whether this mistranslation was due to a typographical error or a misunderstanding, but the mistranslation stuck. Although Queen's Road Central gives the initial impression of walking through a glass and concrete forest, it actually offers many chances to dive into side alleys which provide a completely different atmosphere and vibe. Li Yuan streets east and west are a good example of this. As you wander down these narrow streets, you discover that they are packed with stalls selling a huge variety of knickknacks and accessories as well as clothes and shoes. If you are in a bargaining mood, you can expect to strike a deal as low as 1 or 2 US dollars for many of the items on sale. Down Queen's Road Central on the opposite side, you will find Pottinger Street, otherwise known as Stone Slab Street, which was named after the first governor of Hong Kong, Henry Pottinger, who headed the territory's administration first as an administrator from 1841, then as a governor from 1843 to 1844. This street is well known for its masks, wigs and fancy costumes making it a very popular place for accessory shopping during festivals like Halloween. It is also a popular spot for photographers and as a backdrop for Hong Kong movies. behind me is well known amongst locals and it's famous for its mouth-watering roast goose. Let's go and check it out. It has earned a Michelin star and also offers a variety of Hong Kong styled comfort foods like char siu pork and roast duck. Hunting in Hong Kong and is said to be the origin of Yunyuan tea, a mixture of coffee and tea, and stocking milk tea, so called because stockings used to be made to filter the tea into the cups.
Wong Lindhurst Street to Taichung Bakery. If you want to try Hong Kong's best egg tarts, Taichung Bakery is the place for you. Their signature desserts are the egg tart and the, the Sha Wong, which is the donut which we tried at Tai O. Opposite the bakery is a Michelin recommended eatery where one can buy very juicy pan fried pork buns. Care has to be taken in the eating because of the scalding soup inside the freshly fried buns. So take care when you dig in. to 46 Graham Street where you'll see this large painted mural on the side of the building. It was painted by an expat called Alex Croft and shows a Hong Kong of the past with a vibrant mixture of tenement building scenes all put together in one consolidated panorama. This is called the Central Mid-Levels Escalator. It is considered to be the longest outdoor escalator in the world at 800 meters long. The purpose of this escalator was to connect mid-levels and central so people could travel more conveniently back and forth. The system runs downhill from 6am to 10am and uphill from 10am to midnight. At the bottom of the escalator and back on Queen's Road Trail, one can find Don Don Donkey, a Japanese 24-7 supermarket selling all kinds of Japanese products ranging from snacks to household items. You will know all about this if you saw my Jim Sa Choi Part 2 vlog. Across the street is Central Market. Central Market was the first wet market on Hong Kong Island established in the 19th century. It closed down in 2003 but has since been redesigned as a shopping centre with retail shops and eateries. walk from Central Market brings us to the IFC, another very prestigious shopping centre full of name brand shops, cafes and upmarket restaurants. It also houses the Hong Kong Station and Airport Express check-in and provides access to the Airport Express. Last but not least is the Hong Kong Observatory Wheel, which can be accessed by an elevated walkway from the IFC. Mm -hmm. 
Just walk in the direction of the central ferry pier and you will see it. It's a snippet 20 Hong Kong dollars for three rounds per person and evening is a great time to try it and soak in the spectacular skyline and skyscraper lights for which Hong Kong is so famous. Completion of our Ferris wheel ride marks the finish of today's adventure. If you enjoyed this vlog, please like and subscribe so that you won't miss my future vlogs. Speaking of the future, as I mentioned in the beginning of my Typhoon vlog, I will be becoming a full-time university student so I won't be posting quite as frequently as before, but I will try to post at least one per week. Many thanks for your support and see you in the next vlog.